which of the conclusions definitely does not follow meaning what is definitely false find out what is definitely false always false what is definitely false is what we are looking at okay so here's the solution statements no white is black no white is black so white and black cannot touch each other some black are green some black are green some green are colors some green are colors right so no white is black some black are green some green are colors conclusions the first one some green are black some green are black some green are black it's true some green are black is true right so let me write down the right answer here it's true what i'm trying to say is it's true right no color is white no color is white no color is white while it is true in the basic diagram it is actually false see no color is white is true in the basic diagram white and color do not touch each other but there is the possibility that colors can come and touch white so no color is white is false it's not definitely false remember it is just false it's not definitely false right it is just false but not definitely false so what we are looking for here is what is not definitely false right there's a difference in just being false and definitely false so it's just false no color is green no color is green no color is green now this is definitely false because very clearly he has given some green or color so when some green or color how can we say no color is green this is definitely false so your answer should be only conclusion 3 does not follow what we are looking at we are looking at what is definitely false so it becomes easy this way right so in such questions i think yeah the trick that we can use is write down true false definitely true definitely false and then mark the answer if you put tick mark or cross mark and all that it will only confuse you so first one is true second one is false third one is definitely false and since we are looking at what is definitely false option c only conclusion 3 does not follow is your answer reverse syllogisms right what is given here you have a set of conclusions given and you have to find out which statements are required to arrive at this conclusion questions on reverse syllogisms is actually easy but very time consuming if you do it in the conventional way how will you do it in the conventional way so you look at first set of statements right try to draw the venn diagram for these statements and you will check whether this conclusion satisfies similarly you draw the venn diagram for the second set of statements look at the conclusions see if these conclusions uh, satis are satisfied like that you do for each option which is actually very time consuming so the best way to go about solving questions on reverse syllogisms is try to eliminate a few of the options how do i do that now let us look at this question what is given here first conclusion says conclusions say all roads being turmeric is a possibility no road is a chart so in the conclusions you have a negative statement right or no road is a chart generally in syllogisms if you have to get a negative conclusion right you will need negative statements in the question to arrive at that isn't that so like if i have to get a conclusion which says no road is a chart i will i should have some sort of negative statements in the question to be able to arrive at such an answer okay so now if you skim through the options take this one right statement 5 if you look at this one what are the sta uh, statements that are given see there is an all term again all all and some now if i actually draw the venn diagram for this also i will never get a conclusion like this using these statements i can never get a negative conclusion which says no road is chart so i can directly eliminate this option i hope it is clear okay so i eliminate option 5 like that now next look at option uh four if you look at option four yes there is a negative statement there so let that be there we don't we don't know whether uh you can use that whether that will be the answer or not look at the third statement again in the third statement you have all all some some again no negative statements at all so i can never arrive at this conclusion so this also is not true now you are left with only three statements statement one statement two and statement 3 so what you need to do is just try and represent 
these Venn diagrams, right, of statement 1, 2, and 3, 1, 2, and 4, and check which, uh, which of these statements will give you this conclusion. So that is how you go about solving the question. So first try and eliminate options which are definitely false, which cannot come. Okay. Eliminate those options. Check with the remaining options. Now, again, if uh, try uh, doing statement two, see what the statement two, uh, two say. No road is tree. Okay. No road is tree and uh, no forest is chart. Some charts are forest, some turmeric are venues again see there is no uh, information which says that no road is chart there is no relationship between chart and road anywhere so again i will not be able to get this conclusion no road is chart so i can eliminate this also so now i have eliminated three statements i am left with statement one and statement four draw the venn diagram for that and check what is the first statement say all roads are forest no forest is turmeric some charts are turmeric, some turmeric are, uh, sorry, some charts are uh, turmeric, some turmeric are venues, correct? Now, what is the conclusion say? No road is chart. Again, no road is chart uh, can be or cannot be true, right? I know for sure that uh, no forest is chart. I know for sure that no forest is turmeric and I know for sure that no road is turmeric. Again, I don't know for sure that no road is chart. So this conclusion also does not follow. So obviously your correct answer has to be statement 4. Let us just draw the Venn diagram for that and check. Here what, we, what is given? All roads are, all roads are forests. Then they are giving no forests are chart and all charts are turmeric. So all charts are turmeric and it is given that some turmeric are venues, some turmeric are venues. Now uh, first conclusion says all roads being turmeric is a possibility. So this set roads right, this, see we only know that no forest is chart. But this full set can come here, this forest can come here, this road can come here. That's a possibility, right? It's not a definite conclusion, but that definitely is a possibility because it doesn't uh, uh, like, uh, it does not uh, make any of the given statements wrong, right? Make any of the given conditions wrong. So this is definitely a possibility based on this diagram. Similarly, no road is chart. See, it is already given that all roads are forests and no forest is chart. So definitely no roads can be charts so this is also true okay so that is the that is what is with respect to statement 4 as i said again if you eliminate options you needn't even draw the venn diagram you will know that this is going to be the right answer okay